So firstly, Teddy, welcome back to the UK. Thank you. And here we are at this, well, what can only be described as an iconic situation, studio in London, uh, the Abbey Road Studios in London, of course, where the uh, Beatles did a lot of their recording. And Teddy's been here to uh, get the new album, Man Machine Mastered, and we're back in today to do a bit of informal recording, uh, ready for a video that's going to be created for the, um, for the group. Um, and we, we noticed that production there having sound tech studio, Robert Berry involved with the production, we realized, why don't we redo that one? And, and that, that was the, the key album that drives this whole concept anyway, mm -hmm. including the man machine. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh, there's something about the whole concept from there. So illusions to kind of enhance each part to kind of describe the, what the concept's all about in, in like the conspiracy and all that stuff. So. Mm -hmm. And the loss in time is basically the whole story. And the man machine kind of creates a character. Now we have a character in there, yeah. the man machine. And the so, so the man machine album is more like a conceptual type conceptual, album? Yes, yeah. it is. Um, what do you, where do you get your thoughts and ideas behind the songwriting for, for the album? The first job, I see how this, the whole industry is changing, how the technology is changing us. Look, look, look at it right now, and then you go, you go I think I was walking down there in London, like everybody's like looking at their phone. I said, do they everybody talk? Maybe they do talk by mm, <laughs> testing yeah. each other. But, and I, I see this thing do, uh, evolving, and, but in, in a way that it comes, I hear a little bit, I see more greed. Corporations trying to get more money out of it because you're, mm -hmm. you're eliminating pe jobs. Man Machine is actually the industry yeah. that changed the world, you know, that what I'm seeing right now. How long was the, the album in production? How long did it take you to, to produce the whole album? You know, Albert, it was so much pressure to produce this last album. Yeah. Because I, I thought we did good with the Lost in Time album. So yeah, I, it was the Lost in Time album I was really still talking about. So we, that's a lot of pressure for us just to see, man, how are we going to beat that? So yeah, we yeah. talked about that. You know, yeah, I, I even went through a, a writer's block yeah, for long time before I was able what, to What do you do in a situation like that when you... You know what, I just, at first I, I keep trying, keep trying, and, and nothing sounds right, and nothing come out, out of it. And I realized, you know what, let's just walk away from it. Yeah. So I walk away from it. I always like the beach area. I go there by the, mm. and I watch the sunset, and which is one of the songs about sunset. So I, I said, you know what, just relax and, and let it flow. Yeah. So one time I just locked myself in the studio for a week, and then, there you go, yeah. 11 songs after. Excellent. Okay, so after Lost in Time, of course, the new Man Machine album's out, and I have to say it's a very excellent album as well. Uh, you're playing your third year at the Cambridge Rock Festival, yes. um, so obviously you're going down very well there. The album is going to be debuted at the Cambridge Rock Festival. You're looking forward to this? Yes, we are. Yes, yeah. we are. Okay. Um, so. Any sort of links between the two albums? We already mentioned the Man Machine link. Any other? Yeah, actually, if you listen to the lyrics of Lost in Time, Man Machine was mentioned there. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. it was kind of like it's already embedded in there somehow that yeah. it's going to happen. Yeah. So it makes you wonder what's going to be next. About but, but that's kind of like, you know. I was going to say, is that going to be like a, a thread between, yeah. between the it albums? So album number three could be a lead on. From it could be, yeah. 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 Just tell us a little bit uh, about your Abbey Road experience. I oh, mean, it's, it's such it's a, a thing to come here, isn't it? And working with the engineer series is pretty amazing. He said, you know, now that we have a new album coming up, said, why don't we do it there? So, uh, yeah, and we did it. And, and, and it's amazing. The production was really amazing. Abbey Road, of course, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. So it, okay. it, it, we, we, we didn't know the difference when it was mastered. So. I think my favorite experiences with the band are probably the tours. Coming here, definitely a highlight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So vocalist with the band. Excellent vocalist, may I add? Thank you. You're welcome. Um, what do you think of the new album? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. I am so proud of the work that everyone has put in it. The concept is amazing. The music is amazing. And it's an honor to have 
been able to record this. Challenging vocals? Oh my God, I learned <laughs> so much this year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, very humbling, challenging, but I grew so much, I love it. It yeah. was amazing. Yeah, good. The, uh, the, the guitar parts that Robert Berry did, he does all that rhythm stuff. Yeah all those parts and they really, I felt like they really moved the songs along and that was something I could sink my teeth into. So long story short, I finally relented and it's the best decision I made because uh, of the music, of everything, because this is one of the best run organizations I've been in for the last 50 years. I was actually invited to record on one of the tunes as well. Um, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And what are your views on the new album? You, you both like it? Very yeah. exciting. Yeah. I mean, I get yeah. goosebumps when I hear it. I get goosebumps and excited when I'm playing it. Yeah. And uh, I recommend everyone to go check it out and, you know, listen to the lyrics, listen to the feeling, feel everything and just, you know, the message that, yeah. that Teddy's coming across it comes from his heart. And uh, that's what it's all about. You know? It's the type of album you need to sit down and, and listen to, isn't it, really? And, and you mm -hmm. can't. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You can't. You know, there's, um, you know, stick it on the radio and have it on in the background, or yeah. stick a CD on and have it on in the background. No three-minute songs. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's an old, whole epic, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. it is. It's really yeah. great. Excellent.